Allow me to share with you an incredible story that happened with the Baal Yesoid HaAvoyga, Rabbi Avram of Slonim. About a hundred years ago, there were Jewish soldiers in foreign armies, the Polish army, the Hungarian army, even the German army. Well, one time, there was a Jewish soldier who walks into the Baal Yesoid HaAvoyga, to the Slonim Rebbe on the first day of Sukkot. And the Rebbe looks at him and he says, Oh my, what mitzvah did you perform last night? Your face is glowing. Actually, the Rebbe was able to sense that the fellow's neshama, the Jewish soldier's soul was glowing. He asked him, what did you do? And he said, well, Rebbe, I was on duty last night. I was on guard duty. And... There were a number of soldiers that were around and I saw in the distance there was a sukkah, perhaps 500 to 1,000 feet away from where I was. And the sukkah had a lantern that was glowing from inside of it. And I looked at it and I thought to myself, if only I could get to the sukkah. And I waited and waited and waited, but I couldn't leave my post, especially with these other soldiers around. And then... Finally, about 15 minutes before Chatzais, before midnight, when one is supposed to eat in the sukkah, they finally left. I quickly ran. I climbed over the fence. I ran with my piece of bread into this Yid sukkah. And I sat down. I made a hamoitzi, a leishe basukkah, and I benched. I fulfilled the mitzvah of sukkah. Rebbe, no doubt that is the mitzvah you are referring to. And the Rebbe said, oh no, that's a beautiful mitzvah, but what else did you do? There's something more. That would not be sufficient for your neshama to glow. And he looked at the Rebbe and he smiled. And he says, well Rebbe, when I came back, I had to stand on guard I had guard duty for the rest of the night. And thinking about what I had just done, I could not help but to sing and dance the entire night. That I had the schus and the privilege and the merit to perform that mitzvah. We are privileged to perform the mitzvah of sukkah as a time of simcha zman simcha seinu. But after we are done, we will have perhaps even more joy. And we will rejoice at the fact that we're, we were able to perform the mitzvah. And that too must bring us incredible happiness. And it will.